Karen asked in the Word Words group about how to create a rectangular shaded box around some of the text in the document. Now I responded with the, there are a number of ways we can do this. Here's my text, and the first way will that I'll do it. Call this table cell, where the box is purely on the text. And I'll just make that a heading two. So, the first thing that I would do is I would insert a table cell. Just a single cell, like that. And then select the text, paste it in, get rid of the white space. And now I don't need the external border. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. And then what I do is I select, sorry, apply to the text and the kind of box that I want. And then I can do it that way. And then I'll remove the board around the outside. And then, of course, I can then can shade it in that manner using the highlighting. And I can do it that way. So that's one way I can do it. Another way, if I copy this, call this table cell, cell box, also on text. And then I'm going to paste the entire cell once again, because then I can select, the, then I can select the cell, then I can do table and properties, and then I can do, put a box all around it like that. So that also works. Then I can do table cell is only the cell box. So I want to get rid of this, this formatting here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire cell and then I'm going to clear the formatting. So it still leaves the cell. And then all I need to do is I can come up here onto the ribbon. And then I can do the outside borders. So that's another way. And then I can obviously come to my borders and shading again. And then I can fill that with whatever you can apply to text, paragraph, cell, or table, whatever you want. And then you can do it that way. And then if I get rid of the, the highlighting, that does it that way. So now if I just want the text itself and not the, the entire cell, then I'm going to get rid of the highlighting first. And then what I'm going to do, again, table properties, borders and shading. And I want the shading to apply only to the text. Do it that way. And the final way, which I did in the, in the document, is to use shaded style. And then what I have to do is I come up onto my ribbon and I create a style. And then I modify it and then I just do the formatting. Then you can do the, um, the border and the shading here. But I've already done this. Created style, so there I'm going to paste just the text in, and then my style, which I created earlier, apply like that, and that does it in another way. You can also you can also use a text frame, so a text box, and then you can do it that way, and you can right click format the box and do it however you want uh, change the color and the width and the width of the box and then you can just format the text the outline of the text the text fill the that's obviously the color and then the effects and do whatever you like but also you can come back here of course and you can apply 
the shading that way. So there are a lot of ways you can actually do this, but it depends on what you actually want to achieve. And without the, the extra information, it's difficult to judge. You just want to put a box around the text, like online video there. And again, table properties, border and shading. I come to borders and I want to apply purely to the text. And that makes it stand out like that. So there's lots of different options here. And it all depends on what you want to achieve.